Hi, welcome to the Mind Institute. We're part of Massachusetts General Hospital and located in the Charlestown Navy Yard in Boston. Um, what I'm going to do today is take you for a tour of the Genetics and Aging Unit. We're a unit of about 40 people uh, and we take up about half a floor on the Mind, within the Mind Institute. The Genetics and Aging Unit is structured so that there are five to six semi-independent labs. Each lab has a specialty and we each contribute a particular set of skills and we work together in a kind of synergistic way uh, to tackle major problems in Alzheimer's disease. So what I'll do now I think is take you forward and show you some of the labs. So this is the genetics lab, it's headed by Rudy Tenzi, our director, and it's the centre of the lab, the part that generates uh, the initial findings that the other labs sort of focus on subsequently to work out what's going on. The T-Gen, where we confer, has, by definition, a stronger... So they're essentially gene hunters. They've been very successful in that, found several of the Alzheimer's disease associated genes, uh, plus a number of other disease genes as well. What we have here is uh, our latest and greatest acquisition. Uh, it's a gene typing machine that is, uh, uses little silicon chips. It costs nearly half a million dollars. This is one of the little chips that goes in the machine. Uh, it's small but very pricey. It's about $500. We can go through anything up to a dozen of these in a day if we get very enthusiastic. Um, the good thing about this is that in essentially in a lazy afternoon this machine can do what it used to take four techs about a year to do. Overall it's a much more economical way to approach things and it's enabled us to do things that uh, really weren't feasible even a couple of years ago. So we've just come from the genetics lab to my lab and my lab is a protein chemistry lab and what we do here is we take the proteins that they've identified from the genetics and try and work out what they do and what their function is and how they feed into the disease process of Alzheimer's disease. This is our newest and greatest uh, machine. It's uh, a HPLC, which is a high pressure liquid chromatography system. Essentially, uh, two pumps that can mix uh, solutions very accurately. And in charge of that is Stephanie, who uh, really knows how to run this. This machine basically takes uh, our samples and purifies a particular protein for us. That protein we use in our own analysis, but we also ship it to a lot of our collaborators. Uh, all over the US and indeed uh, in some parts of the rest of the world. Uh, we send them off samples and uh, they do their own sophisticated analyses on it. So what we're going to look at here is actually some A-beta peptide, the stuff that actually gives you Alzheimer's disease. We've purified this using that machine behind you and uh, I'll try not to sniff it. It's very neurotoxic and uh, this is really the thing that kills off your brain in Alzheimer's disease. And uh, we'll do various things to it and then we'll run it through the machine again and analyse to see how we can change it and hopefully make it less neurotoxic. This is another one of our favourite machines. It's an ultra centrifuge. Uh, we put things in there that spin around at 350,000 revolutions per minute, which is extremely fast. It's actually armour plated, but just to be on the safe side, I always retreat to my office before I get my technicians to start it up.
This is Josephina Tesco's lab. Uh, their focus is molecular biology of Alzheimer's disease associated proteins. So essentially they take the proteins and peptides that we look at in my lab in isolation in test tubes and see how they work in complex living things such as cells and to some extent living animals. So their focus really is trying to work out how to close down the pathways that generate a beta and other neurotoxic proteins in Alzheimer's disease brain. So that pretty much wraps up our tour of the Genetics and Aging Unit. If I was to leave you with one thought, I think it's this, and that is that this devastating disease is not going to go away. It's going to get worse as our population ages, and unless we find a cure, it's going to be a major problem as well as a source of unimaginable misery in the world. So that's where you guys can come in and help. The money that you supply is essential for us to keep going and keep pushing towards a cure. And you can make a big difference.